Okay guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing you a game that even I didn't think I could pull off in the 15,000 games I've played, um, including my NA account. Uh, what you're about to see is probably the best game I've ever played in terms of just playing it well. Um, and I've probably said that about in other videos, but this has topped them all so far. Um, so without further ado, I'll introduce you to this Type T34. This is one of my tanks that I'm riding at the moment. I'm trying to get the uh, tier 6 um, medium tank. I've already got the light tank. Um, and I'm not a fan of this tank. really hate pew pew tanks. Just having to shoot again and again and again quickly. I, I'm, I'm okay with like autoloaders with like burst damage, but like just having to sit there for sustained damage, I'm not a massive fan of because I like to sort of pop out, shoot, hide, and then see how we go. Now, as you see here, Felix01, he's going to become very important later in this game, so uh, I'd like to shout out to him, and I'd like to also shout out to the uh, Jackson on the enemy team, um, and you'll see why later. So, um, we're going here on, what is this map called again? Westfield, of course. They've got two really good players, and they've also got the Jackson, who's also quite a good player as well. Um, we've got myself and Wildflower, who's a Leopard. Uh, and everyone else is fairly average to, to not be great, which is fine. If you're not good at tanks, I don't mind. Anyway, so we're taking some shots, uh, hopefully, on that um, looks there. We see the the decent T34, so we're taking shots at him. Miss a shot on the uh, T20D1, sorry, 1D. VK21D, sorry. So. Our Leopard's unfortunately rushed up there, think, probably thinking we would support him, but unfortunately he wasn't able to. We decided to finish off the uh, VK, because um, why not finish a tank off and eliminate him from the game. I was really worried that these guys were going to come and rush me, because I've only got a light tank, the PZV8NA there, and I've got a Matilda behind us. Now, then I see this tank, the, the 84M, that thing is nasty, I managed to earn one about three, four months ago when they ran a promotion. If you did 16 missions, you could get a free one. And I, got, and I managed to get those missions. They weren't too hard, which was really nice. Um, it's nice to see a board gaming has actually done that um, for their player base. And I think that's really good. And anyway, here comes the 85M and I'm just like, oh shit. So I start just pumping gold into the side of this turret and into this tank because that thing's just going to wreck me if I, um, if this keeps attacking me. I see the looks, the 85M decides to hide, I'm going to finish off the looks. The, the nice thing about this gun is that it can pump out a lot of damage really quickly, like we're, we're less than three, we're only two and a half minutes into this game before we've done a thousand damage, that's, that's not bad for a tier five tank. Luckily we've been in a position where we've been able to just keep firing and have had plenty of uh, shots. Anyway, so 85M's just been taken down a fair chunk, I've decided where to finish him, I know I'm going to take a hit, which is quite nasty, but Again, he's not going to reload before I finish him off, so I, I was happy to take one hit. However, I'm worried about the enemy army, so I'm now going to try and um, move around it. I think I decided to relocate at this point, because um, I'm getting rather concerned. We've got four kills so far and 1,236 damage. Um, you can tell, I've only just had this game, by the way. I only had it about ten minutes ago, and I'm rather excited. My heart was pumping. It was just, oh, so amazing. Um... Yeah, I think it's at this point we decide to uh, hide, be, well, go back to um, to sit with the Matilda. Um, and I, I might speed it up a bit because there's not a lot, doesn't, not much happens for a bit. On the other flank we're not doing too badly, we've, we've, well, we've kind of tanked light as well. Uh, the T-34, the enemy T-34 has been spotted. Up here, and he will be shortly followed by their T-34, their, their sorry, their Type T-34 because they've got one as well. And he's about the same level as me in terms of... Uh, actually, he's slightly better. He's, he's technically slightly better if we were going to argue and split hairs, but let's um, let's not let's just say we're both even, because effectively, when it gets to that stage, pretty much everyone is about the same level of world tanks. It just depends on your situational awareness and other things. So... I'm going to punch shots into this T-34. I'm not doing very well because I'm missing, and now I'm starting to panic a bit. I've, I'm probably going to start loading gold at some point because I'm like, uh, no, I, no, I don't load gold, sorry. There you go, so T-34, type T-34, we're just going to pump shots into him, just reverse because I know he's got a grab head gun depression, so the faster I reverse, 
less hits than I take. I'm going to take one more hit after this. But I take him out. So now I've got six kills. So we've got 1,790 damage. I move out of the way because I'm worried that it's going to be arty and there's also the chaffy on my flank. This is how fast paced this game was, hey. It's just, it was... Wow, it's five, less than five minutes, just five minutes into the game now. And we've got 1,700 damage. Oh, just, this is just an amazing game. I, I thought I might be able to get shots through this, but the buildings I'm shooting at are indestructible, so I give up after that a while. I fired half my gold rounds, and I fired about, oh, for simplicity's sake, let's say two fifths or a third of my um, normal rounds. Not going to run out of ammunition anytime soon, but again, you can run out of ammunition fairly quickly in this tank because every 1.98 seconds or 94 seconds it's firing again. So I've decided to return to my original position because I can get some spots from there. My view range in this is really bad, I will say. This tank. <sighs> the problem is that the aim time's pretty average as well in this tank, so I, I tend to run a. Uh, uh, What's the what's the one they can use? It's not a stabilizer. It's it's a something else. Gun lane drive. That's what it is. So I run a gun lane drive, a uh, gun ram, of course, and I run vents. Um, I, I probably could instead of running vents, run a um, a pair of uh, improved binoculars. Not binoculars. The static view range bust the 10% one. Can't remember off the top of my head for some reason. Um, anyway. So, I've decided I'm going to move up this flank. I want to stay unhidden, uh, unspotted because they've got two nasty tank destroyers. Um, the Jackson and the Hitzer. And we've also got those three arty, which I'm probably close to a one shot for all those arty, if not a two shot. But if all three of them see me, they're more likely just going to focus me because I'm probably the most dangerous player. We've still got the Hummel, we've got a VK 3001H, we've got uh, a Grill, an SV 38, which is a nice tank, and um, the M37. Now, unfortunately, at, uh, actually, I won't mention that just yet, but uh, this is a good spot to go to if you've got good gun depression and good view range. My issue here is I don't have either. I was hoping maybe I could spot this Jackson maybe sitting next to a um, a tree, uh, not a tree, a building and maybe I could put some put a couple of shots before running away but then I sort of think about what if the what if the um, what if the uh, heads is over here I mean I, I might get shot from over there so yeah so I decided to m move um, I then realised that they've actually started to flank around a long way, which is really, really good for me because I can now s hopefully safely travel. And can I do this with. Uh, yeah, I can travel over here, which means it'll put me in a good spot. The Hummel's a little bit worried because um, I think he thinks we've lost. Uh, I, I, I looked at that and thought, well, let's just see how we go, hey? But um, yeah, well, we're just going to get into a position. There's a really nice little bush over here, which. Um, You'll see me sit in, and we'll be able to get some shots on this Jackson hits as they cross the field. Well, that's my plan, anyway. And hopefully there's enough camouflage, and I've got a reasonable camo crew on this, so I decide... I see the hits, so I move back a bit, so I'm covered with uh, foliage, and then I see the Jackson, I'm like, yep, that's done. And this is literally the thing that I reckon won us the game. If he had not um, actually cross that field. It doesn't look like the Hits has also spotted us, or if he has, he's ignoring us. Or he's scared. So, we've got both of those. We've now got a Radley Walters, which is like, ah! I've only got two on this account. I've only got one on my other accounts. So that's three in total I've ever had. Ever. So, unless you count low tier ones, which don't count. But, I don't count those. Um, I'm now sweating bullets at this point, because I'm just like, holy shit. Uh, so, I'm asking the uh, art artillery to move to the cap because I believe there are, the RT will be probably either sitting in the corner or they'll be moving towards our cap the other way around. But if they, uh, my thoughts are, if I set, if I find the RT, um, I should be able to shoot them a bit and they should be able to uh, the RT, my RT should be able to take them out. And I've asked them to. I've actually changed my mind. Also, partway through. 
doing that. I've asked the audience to set up there. Um, the Hummel listens to me, the Grill doesn't, but he does something similar, which was good enough. And the M37, I'm not sure, I think he took it upon himself to defend the base, which is okay in itself, because that means it will tell me if we get attacked at base, because, let's say in about two minutes, which, which is roughly how long it takes to drive from the enemy cap to your cap f around that way. If I don't see anything with two minutes, I know that they're either gearing up to attack me, or they're hiding. Um, so, that helps with information. Information is great in this game, you've got to sort of think about it. And, luckily, I had a decent sleep last night, so I'm actually like, oh, okay, yeah, I should be fine. So, <laughs> so yeah, we've got um, 2,282 damage so far. Haven't blocked any damage because we're a medium tank and our armor sucks, and we've got 72 spawning damage. We've contributed to our team <laughs> in terms of spawning damage. So I'm just waiting for the Hummel to get in position. The grill will stop soon and set up, which is... He's not the best spot. Um, I'm communicating to my team via chat. I'm just sort of thinking I need to win this for my team because I've had such a good game and I and I want to win this for my team. So if, but you'll see in the stats later, the, the team doesn't do amazingly well, but again, it's mid-tier. You sort of gamble with these sort of things, but if you play mid-tier, I'm only playing mid-tier to get through this tank. Um, and this game was a big chunk of experience, which was nice, because I'm running boosters at the moment to get past this tank. I hate this tank so much. Um, I've been much more comfortable in like a... M4 with a derp gun or something like that, just because I can pop, fire, pop off and shot and then run. It, and that's just my p preferred pay to play style. I can play this this way though. So we're now charging this corner, which is where I feel the arty will be hiding. I take a shot, I miss. And then the Hummel, good old Felix, takes out, um, takes out this, uh, Hummel, so... So Hummel vs Hummel action. Ooh. Here it is on this channel, folks. So if someone takes a pot shot at me, that's probably the M41. I don't think the... What's that? What is that other one? That's a 82 HMC. An 82 H... Oh, is that that TD they reclassified as a artillery? It might be. Yeah, it might be that one. Okay, so what I've decided to do here, I've uh, decided to cap. Um, I will change my mind because I'm... Yeah. Oh, and also the uh, Hummel took out the 82 HMC, but the M37 is being chased by the M41 HMC. Um, and they're both fast tanks, uh, believe it or not. They're oddly fast. I've played the M41 I don't like playing artillery. I only played it for some arty missions and then I decided I didn't want to do any more arty missions because I can't stand playing it. So, um, I've decided, well, it's only one tank. I've asked someone to cap. We've only got two minutes left on this game. Um, and even if I die and they both cap, which they're not going to both cap, at least the real will. But if I can delay this this M41, I should, we should be fine. And that's just based on my plan. So. I'm driving through all these bushes just so I don't get spotted anytime soon. I've got enough camo, he sh and there's very little fuel range. I spot him traveling sideways. I auto lock and just hold the trigger down. And there's GG. So there we go. That's the end of the game. And as you can see, this was a mastery badge and first mark of excellence in the uh, T. Uh, sorry, the type. T34, and uh, it was a good game. We had a Radley Walters medal. We had is that a Lajvenko's like, medal? I think it is, and the high caliber Top Gun, obviously, uh, and 15 KW8, which is very nice. Uh, 6,450 XP. This was the last game I also played in this uh, tank, which was a relief to me because I cannot stand it. And I went on to play the uh, T50. Uh, 58 and I, I hated that that was terrible um but from there i got into the uh the light tank line and that's that's a really good line i'm enjoying that quite a lot i've actually stopped playing the medium line and the heavy line for the time being for the chinese uh I've also 
I played this several weeks ago, probably even a month ago. I just forgot to finish dealing with it. Um, so, yeah, the really good game in this. Uh, I will just bring up the other slides. Yeah, top of the team, the Hummel really helped us out. Um, he really, really did well. Grill didn't do a lot, which doesn't matter. I mean, the the Jackson did really, really well um, in, on his team, and he really uh, said good work after the game, which was really nice. So it's nice when people message you and say good work. It's it feels good. I try to do it myself. Uh, last slide. Uh, didn't make a lot of money because uh, we fired a lot of gold in that. Um, we got 4,870 credits, 6 profit. Wasn't too concerned at that point because I hated this tank. And, yeah, uh, yeah, great game. Um, really enjoyable. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it too. Uh, subscribe if you liked this. And uh, give it a like if you liked it. Dislike if you didn't like it. Which, fair enough. Please leave a comment if you liked it. Or if you didn't like it, whichever. Leave a comment if you didn't have an opinion, that's fine. Anyway, uh, see you later guys and keep on tanking. Yeah.